Hello everybody, my name is Spot607, welcome back to another video, and um, this is the police, yeah, uh, th this is, this, I don't know, this is, this is the police, I, I, I don't know how I'm really gonna say this, anyway, it doesn't matter, uh, yeah, this is a game that came out like 2016 or something like that, and um, yeah, it came out ages ago, but my brother played it, ages ago, and he said it was brilliant, so I was like, you know what, maybe I'll do this for YouTube, I don't know. I put it up in a poll, which is probably on the screen if I can find it, because I'm stupid, I probably can't, but anyway, it doesn't matter. And, uh, yeah, basically none of you want this, but, um, my friends in the Americas are otherwise engaged, and, yeah, I already did, ge I already did GeoGuessr, so, yeah, why not do this? It's just, you know, see how it goes, I suppose. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by this fucking groovy music in the background, this is cool. Um, right. So, I assume it's story, because San... I, this is... I don't know what this is. Because my brother said, don't click on anything except story, because I might get, like, spoiled on something. So, yeah, new game, I suppose. Do you want to... Do you want to yes, I do. Right, on we go. Um, that was not what that said. Day one, July 15th... Okay. R R Mayor Rogers. Mm, naughty stuff, man. You can't... Me, 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 f yeah. I cannot speak at all. I am desperately hungover. Um, Freeburg Tribute. City Hall confirms rumours of Jack Boyd's resignation. Uh, right. Uh, Mark War 2 to be shown in Freeburg the day before the worldwide premiere by Mayor's personal request. Okay. Is, so I assume that's this guy. Um, okay, it seems like a nice man. Off he go. Well... I, I maybe gets around a bit anyway. Um, come on, car start. Off we go to work. Rum. What? Oh, there's little specks in the background. When I was a kid, my father sometimes told me at bedtime that if I closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time, all the demons would blow away. Okay. Yesterday I turned sixty. Wow. But I still take his advice. Not because I'm sentimental or want to keep the memory of my father alive. I just can't think of a better solution. To get away from all the demons mm. that haunt Freeburg, I'd need to wear a blindfold 24-7. Plus, it's a good idea to act blind when talking to reporters. At least that's what my colleagues say. They're afraid of press conferences. But for uh. me, it's more like a confessional. No matter what lies you tell, you're privately thinking the honest answers. It helps me remember who I am. The fact that I'll be reading all about it in the papers tomorrow is a small price to pay. Call it penance for the preacher. Hmm. His voice is nice. Oh, he's got a big chunky bald spot on the back of his head. Ha! Look at that. <laughs> this is uh. the first time I'm afraid of those answers my mind has given me. Not because I'm mad I'm losing my job. Though it's true, I'm mad as hell. Oh. Not because I subconsciously blame everyone else. Though I damn sure do blame them. And mm. don't even ask me what my next move is. I can't imagine. Wait, wait, what? But even that doesn't scare me. The worst thing is, I know I'm gonna have to do something. And I'll be damned if I know how far I'll go. I may have a lot of vices. But predictability isn't one of them. What the fuck's a vice? I learned a long time ago how to drive away the swarming demons. But what do you do when they're trying to rip your soul from your skin? Oh. Shutting my eyes tight as I can. The best solution remains the same. Play blind. I just hope the reporters think I was blinded by the camera flash. Am I supposed to be reading into this? This is a lot of text to start off the game. Oh, good, good, good morning. Hello. Yesterday, the mayor's office officially announced your resignation. Did this come as a surprise, or did you know about it in advance? Um, surprise, the mayor discussed it with me. I've been expecting this bull- Okay, that's a bit strong. Um, what's the difference? Um... I, I don't know, like, is there's no context to this. Uh, what's the difference? Why not? It's... Okay. 
do you already know the name of your successor? Um, who can, that's not nice. Um, it'll be Department Veteran, he's a new man. Well, I don't know, so I'm just going to say no. I, I, I didn't, that's not the way I thought it would come out. Um, okay. Um, after recent scandal, your deputy Francis Kendrick said he was looking forward to resigning. If the mayor offered him your position, would that change his mind? Um, maybe, because, like, you'd want to be? Am I in charge of something? Um, I'll just say perhaps. Although Kendrick was acquitted, oh, he did something naughty, um, many still believe the, that the police are cooperating with the math. Oh, shit. Do you have anything to say about this? Um, if it, that's, that's not a good choice. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'll just say I don't know. Yeah, because that's a good answer. I've never worked with the Mafia, but I can't speak for every man and woman in the department. Oh, okay, you can read it for yourselves. This is going to take a while. Do you think your personal relationship with the mayor could be the reason behind your retirement? Um, Really, yeah, how should I know? You would better ask him. That's good. Thank you. Oh, good. We're done. No more questions. Yeah. How's the back today, Mr. Boyd? Same as usual. How did the press conference go? You can read about it in the newspapers tomorrow. Don't let anyone in. Even Mr. Kendrick? Especially Mr. Kendrick. Oh. Am I angry at Mr. Kendrick? My medicine? Okay. Gotta take your meds. And, well, you don't gotta do that, but sure. Anyway. Um. Yeah. As soon as I heard the door creak, I knew what face I'd see. When I tell Emma not to let anyone in, there's only one man it could be. Rude, arrogant, no warning. That's Mayor Rogers in a nutshell. Oh. White summer shoes, white socks, white shorts, white polo shirt, and the white smile of a hungry shark. Mayor Rogers enters every room like he owns the place. Even the floorboards under his feet sound like they're creaking an apology. Well, this guy's a he dick. He away from the odd corruption scheme. It's like the devil walks behind him. In the movies, the that villains my question? controlling the city play golf with the judges. Rogers plays tennis with them instead. That's about the only difference. Jack, I was hoping to catch you after the press conference. You, uh, you ran away so quick. There's no smoking at City Hall. No reason for me to hang around. Well... This morning, I signed a ban on smoking in all public buildings. Soon, you won't be able to smoke here, either. <laughs> oh. Soon enough, I won't be here at all. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. The people of this city like you, Jack. The police chief, of all people. Oh, I am the police chief. Okay. Don't, uh, don't betray that, Jack. Don't get wrapped up in any schemes. Sit nice and quiet for the next 180 days, and uh, and you'll be remembered as a hero. That's the only thing that you still have left. Be the hero. Oh. So how am I supposed to scrape together a retirement fund? You had a million chances to secure a luxury pension, one that even I would have envied, although I've never set aside any money for myself. I'm not planning to retire anytime soon. Oh my god, would you go away? Oh, what the? Ah, 180 days of quiet, Jack. That's all I need. I'm gonna cause you many troubles. You? And you won't have any problems with me. You're gonna have problems. I don't even know what I can do to that. Troy Star, if you have something to tell me, call him. But try not to bother him. He's a he's a busy man. <laughs> I'll do my best. I already hate him. Please tell me we get to kill him. Smoking up the office. One of my friends will be using it soon. Oh, you! 
Right. If I can get if I get a chance to kill him, I'm kill oh, oh. Okay. Oh I'm sorry, babe. Only the mayor has this number. Mr. Mayor? Yeah, is this Troy Star? Yes. Go fuck yourself, Troy Star. <laughs> <laughs> I interrupted that just to save to tell him to go F himself. That's <laughs> what the f <laughs> oh. <laughs> why? Like, <laughs> what the hell? Oh, okay, um, right, Jack Boyd. Only I, I didn't say that, um. My retirement is my own business. That's good. Uh, Francis Kendrick could replace Jack Boyd. I I believe I am Jack Boyd. Yes, I am. Start the motor vehicle. Cops don't use the police station cafeteria anymore. Okay. There's some kind of stigma against sitting shoulder to shoulder with your partners. I don't know Nobody what that means. Take snacks from the machines or grabs a meal and hammers it down in the corner like a vulture on a corpse. The main thing? Don't look into anyone's eyes. Could be construed as an invitation to sit together. The only people eaten here are ghosts. Oh. My deputy, Francis Kendrick. He recently became one of those ghosts. The subject Oogie. of one of the most devastating corruption scandals in the history of Freeburg. Oh, damn! No evidence to support the accusations, but everyone knows Kendrick's days are numbered. I need that file I asked for. Needs to be ready tonight. Well, is he innocent then? Francis didn't say anything, but I understood. Ghosts aren't supposed to talk. Besides, I got a feeling he was already finished. Uh, um... Okay. Uh, would you like to receive tips about how the game works? Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm a 60-year-old police chief that a few months away from retirement. I don't need anyone telling me how to do my job. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a meme. Uh, yeah. Show me what you got. Uh, Freeburg PD organizes upcoming work assignments. Wait, no, I'm getting off topic. I wanted to say something there. So, Kendrick, is he a naughty boy? Because if he, if he was acquitted, does that mean that he didn't do anything? Does Or does acquitted mean that he did do something? I, I don't know what that means. Oh, well. Anyway. Um, <laughs> um, Organises uh, assignments. I should be reading this out. Um, every shift, officers respond to crimes in progress and... <clears throat> Detectives continue with their investigations. You can freely move employees between shifts. Okay. Jeez, I've been recording for 15 minutes and I haven't even gotten into like gameplay or anything like that. Oh, Abrams, look at you. Oh, what's this mean? Uh, all officers and detectives possess several important characteristics. Abrams, what's the 1230 mean? Uh, professionalism shows the overall efficiency of your policeman. Uh, a figure around 150 is considered average. Oh, you're above average. You're a lovely man, aren't you? Um, any policeman who falls short of this mark will not entirely reliable, while those whose professionalism is considerably higher than average are a safe bet, even in a pinch. Okay. An individual's level of professionalism may rise and fall over the course of their career. Okay. Energy shows how tired your policemen are. Policemen. I've got to get it right. Uh, the less energy your people have, the less reliable their work, and a policeman who is exhausted might fall asleep at the wheel and, or make a critical error on the job. Your employees lose one point of energy after each working day and restore one point after each day of rest. Okay. Your employees don't tell you everything. Some additional... Characteristics are hidden from view. For instance, some cops are lazy and will come up with any reason to take the day off, while others like to drink too much. So, I assume that's what the beer bottle is for then. Maybe. You can only guess about th these... The, the, I, I can read. 
uh, but you should only be able to draw your own conclusions based on the behaviour of your employees. Okay, right. So who have I got? Got you, Kochi, Yancey, Purdy, Subaki, Asano, Austin. Jesus Christ, you're fucking useless, aren't you? Uh, right, who else is there? There's Mole, and Deb Brito, and Armstrong. Okay, off you go. Yeah. Oh, what's this groovy music coming in here? Get rid of that cigar. Responding to calls is the bread and butter of police work. You'll need to send your officers to the crime scene before the timer expires. A mark on the map shows where the call came from. Uh, the farther away the destination from the police station, the longer it will take for your officers to travel back and forth. So, the longer your people will be tied up and unavailable for upcoming work. Okay. Right, hit and run. The easiest way to determine how difficult the task is, is to check how many units are allowed to send to the call. The more units you can send, the more serious the alleged threat. Particularly risky missions give you the option of sending SWAT, but they must be accompanied by at least one officer. Okay. The number of slots is not the only thing to consider. Any available information from the location of the crime scene, to the presence of the weapons and so on. All this can tell you how seriously each case should be taken. A mission might look simple on first glance until it turns into a brutal meat grinder. Oh, okay, that's a bit of a turn. Uh, or a serious call can come in, which turns out to be a false alarm. Okay, so some of them might be fake. Uh, a married couple excited, you know, exited. A married couple exited a convenience store and saw a van in the parking lot back over a homeless man who'd been digging through a trash can okay the driver jumped out to help but once he saw that he'd hit a bum he got in the van and drove away hey bums got rights too man come on uh who should i send to this uh it doesn't sound super serious there's nobody with guns or anything so I'll, i suppose austin and price you go to this one because you can keep an eye on price because she's a bit useless anyway Oh, look at this. This is getting groovy. What's this? A theater drunk... Uh, no, a theater manager... I, I can't... I'm getting distracted by the music. I'm dancing away in my fucking chair over here. Um, a theater manager reports that during a showing of Citizen Kane, a drunk man attempted to force his way into the theater carrying a snowboard decorated with the word Rosebud. When he was denied entry, he violently attacked cashier and is currently fighting with the theatre's security guard. Okay, that's not particularly nice. There is fighting going on. Uh, Yancey and you two, well, Asano, yeah, you, off you go. Yeah, you can already see what's going on. I'm, I'm so bad at commentating, this is ridiculous. Oh, you got $2,400. That's no good. What can, what can I spend that on? Do I have to like spend that on food or something? What goes on? I don't know. Hit and run report. Let's see. How'd you do? When everything goes well, the police capture the criminals and nobody dies. But the truth is, sometimes the criminals manage to escape. Just try to avoid dead cops or civilians. Dead cops will hurt your roster and dead civilians will bother the mayor even more than the living ones. Okay. I ah, guys! You're so useless! Oh my god, price is that useless that she didn't even go down. That's... Oh. Uh, okay. I've got to I've gotta get you a better babysitter. No, no, a better... Care, what do... What do you call them? I, I don't know what they're called. I think price is probably a bit old. So, oh. Oh, I can find out stuff about them. Uh, so, price is an alcoholic. Uh, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. And you're not. Okay, right, that's good. Um, what's going on out here? Armed robbery. Okay, I am not listening price there at all. Um. Actually, no, this is serious because I, I probably want to send the two big ones. Oh, no. Um. A brother and sister clash with each other over their deceased father's will. 
According to one of their lawyers, we don't... F oh, okay, that's not good. Um, I don't want to send... No, I don't, I've, I've, I've got his price! No! Someone come back. Someone come back. Wait for you. Yes. I've got a good chunky man here now. Um, right. That's the... Yeah. Okay, off you go. Try mm, not let anybody get murdered. That, that is not beneficial to some, someone's health. Um, assault in the ghetto. The passerby saw some teenagers attack an elderly musician and then run away with his guitar and his money. Oh, this is all I can do. I have to send Price. God damn it. Ugh. Oh. When your cops aren't sure how to proceed, they might contact you and ask you to handle the situation. Try to deal with whatever comes up, but don't waste your time on this stuff. You have plenty of other problems on your plate. So is there a time limit for this, or... Right, uh, the vehicle in question is parked outside the Brown residence. The sounds of moaning and loud laughter can be heard through the window. What is... What even is this, actually? Um, I don't know what this is. I can't remember. Uh... Knock on the door, open up late, and say the house is surrounded? Yeah! Okay, um, I, I don't remember what that was. Um, right. Oh god, I'm worried about this one. They're gonna, they're gonna fail, aren't they? This is gonna be bad. Fight! What's this? Oh! Well, that's that was uneventful. Okay, that's good. I thought there was gonna be another one of those things that just came up for them. Well, we thought it was gonna be serious, but no. Okay. It's, how did he do? Yeah, of course he got away. Jesus, he are useless. Ah. Um. Oh. Wait, is is that it? Um. Okay, end the day, I guess. If you think you'll need a couple of extra hands tomorrow, you can order any cop to come in and work overtime. But if they're flat out, they'll be more exhausted. Somebody's bound to make a mistake. Okay. So don't let people get too tired. Okay. Oh. I've got another useless boor out in this side. Ah, That's annoying. Oh, Jesus. My voice just disappeared down the back of my throat there. What was that? Um, right. End of day. Used to be, when I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked to grumble and crack wise. Nowadays, he doesn't have the strength for it. Oh. Slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past few weeks, I don't hardly recognize my old friend. In his younger years, he reminded me of a gallant royal officer in an old Kipling story. Kendrick isn't just crumbling under the weight of the public pressure, but from the shame of it all. Oh? Internal Affairs raided the library he inherited from his grandfather, hoping they'd find buckets of cash stashed in the pages. What's Heard he about do? The look on his face, the fearless policeman standing helpless in horror. I've known Francis for 30 years. The past 20 years, he's played loose with the law. Oh. And I know that at a certain point, every stolen dollar brings more misery than anything else. So he has done something. Sounds crazy, but I sympathize with the guy. What can I do? Your friends are your friends, and these are the waters we swim in. Oh, not good. Called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business. So you could get a call from any of them. You don't need to worry about any of them. I've cleared them all. And what kind of business are we talking here? It's nothing too serious, just like you asked. Should be just a few small favors. Payments will vary depending on the situation and who you're dealing with. Is this are you looking to earn? Half a million. Half a, Half a million? Why not a whole million? Because everybody wants to take a million. Figured I'd try something different. <laughs> Half a million in Fair 180 enough. days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. Never knew you for a fisherman. Well, you never got into my business, and I'm not trying to get into yours. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. Sooner or later, they'll put the finger on you. What's that supposed and, to mean? And one more thing, Jack. 
I remember what you said, but I should probably add one more name to that list. Christopher Sand. Sand. Who? Oh. Christopher G. Sand. Everyone knows the name, but few <laughs> could tell you who he is. The old man stays away from the spotlight. Always wears old-fashioned jeans and knitted sweaters. Gives to charity. Where is he? Rarely attends is him on the left? events. An avid hunter, I hear. Even dabbles in poetry. Hmm. You'd never guess he's the head of the oldest and most powerful gang in the city. Oh. Goes back as far as his great-grandfather. And Sand is strict about following the old rules. He rarely involves himself in commonplace murders and robberies. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone to get his point across. Ooh. The He's people who work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection where needed, even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Meanwhile, uh -oh. Sam pulls the strings without getting his hands dirty. People sometimes mistake his quiet Ooh. approach. A couple years ago, an arms dealer decided to expand its business without asking permission, and his whole family paid the price. Oh, no. In four weeks, Sand killed 31 people. Jeez. Old men, women, even a few teenagers. And Sand's people made sure every paper reported it. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack, please yeah. listen to me. I'm in with these guys. No. Agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. Yeah. I don't go there. Never have, never will. Good man. Yeah, fuck you, Kendrick. Right, so Kendrick is in with the Mafia. Okay, um, right, so he's a naughty boy. Don't listen to him. Um, construction of Cinema Museum postponed again. God damn it. I don't even know what that means. Uh, Francis Kendrick announces retirement date. Good. Uh, legendary singer Gennaro Crespo comes to Freeburg. What does that have got, got to do with anything else? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a newspaper. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, cast out the motor vehicle, please. And we shall depart for work. When a police officer is too tired to be effective, he will ask for a day off. Sometimes officers will request days off when they're at full strength. <laughs> oh god, I, I need to talk, talk slower. <coughs> oh, I'm dying. Anyway, um, right. So, where was I? Uh, sometimes, uh... I, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, some of the reasons you'll hear are far-fetched, but some of them are very serious. Don't overindulge your subordinates, but don't antag an an antagonize them either. I can read. Uh, remember that everybody's got secrets, and you've got to make sure these guys got your back. Uh, or have your back. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, Birch. Okay, you're old. That makes sense. Um, right. I was up... Last in the last intention of Neshu, but I haven't gotten to the ending. I'm almost certain to No! You're not going home to read a book! Screw you! Oh. Wait, what? What's this? I should read it. In addition to their performance ratings, police officers also possess rank. Employees begin at the lowest rank and can be elevated in rank with one, two, or three stripes. Once a week, you can pass out stripes and improve the rank of your employee. If you think that no one is worthy of the honour, some week you can postpone the ceremony until later. Insignias won't go out until your people are ready. Okay. Ooh. Employees of rank not only increase in professionalism, but also learn to command. Whenever a ranking, of, a ranking officer is on the scene, his or her colleagues are more likely to perform better than usual. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, sometimes when cops get rank, they start thinking more seriously about their, their service. This can mean less drinking and more time spent on the job. Okay, so this brings down your alcoholicness as, as well. Some, might, some of them might even turn out to be dependable. Okay. That's cool. And oh, oh, Birch Jr. is actually useless. Uh, right, uh, oh, Stovall's pretty good. You're gonna get one. Why not? Um, and uh, who's the next highest? 
Beasley, you're pretty good. You're gonna get one too. Good man. I don't even know what you did, but yeah, that's the way it's gonna work. Let's go. Uh, oh, Freeburg isn't one of those cities where you listen to what they say or nothing at all. You can always select any song from your collection and play it at any other time, just like in real life. Well, the life of your grandfather. <laughs> okay. Uh, what shall we listen to? Um, yeah, let's see these songs. What are they like? Uh, Bud Meets Bob, singing them. Uh, Don't You Leave Me Here. Billabong. I like the sound of Billabong. Let's go for Billabong. Yeah. Uh, oh, this doesn't sound happy. I thought Billabong was happy. Let's learn how to hire and fire cops. Okay, then. Affairs. Uh, Labour Marcus doesn't want me to go there. Yes. Uh, you have a certain number of paid job openings for which you can hire any available applicant. Job slots are separated between officers and detectives. Okay. Wait, I don't want him. I want a good one. Uh, what are you? 110. You're the best. Right. Uh, shift A, I guess. Uh, oh, oh. Once free up a slot, time to fire somebody. Oh. Uh, Roy, you're useless. Bye bye. If you have legal grounds for termination, no one will ask any questions. You might need to fire them anyway. Legitimately, be damned, but that could land you in additional proceedings. And your other staff will become more worried about keeping their jobs than they are about actually doing their jobs. Okay, that's not particularly good. Another way to free up slot a slot is to have a police officer killed, but that's not really a valid option, right? No, it's not! No! Um, what's this? Fire legally, yes. Do that. That's good. Bye-bye, Roy. Uh, right, is... Is that done? Is he on the thing? I've still got two more here. Um, hire for shift A or shift... Oh, yeah, I'll hire one for shift B and I'll hire one for shift A. That's how we'll do it. And who are these guys? Uh, you're, you're good. So I suppose I'll hire you for... Shift A, I guess. Uh, I don't know, what... What's the difference? What's the difference between these brown guys and these blue ones? Are they like the invest in investigation men? What what you call them? Or or women? They can do it too. Uh, detectives, yeah. Is that what they do? Or I don't know. Um, right. Uh, four fifty. Roy is your last day. May as well go and have some fun. Uh, we received a frightened call from the local cathedral this morning. The abbot discovered that someone entered the old cemetery during the night. The old yards tombstones are painted with satanic symbols, that's not very nice. And some have been broken into pieces. No! That's not nice. Uh, it seems that... Okay, right. I, I, I need to stop reading. I, this is going to take forever. Oh my god, I'm recording for 35 minutes. This is going to be so long. Uh, right. Uh, right, this. Uh, businessman Har Vandalism at Atticus Tower. Businessman Harley Jones, looking out of his window, Saw two teenagers scratching offensive slogans on his new car. Uh, okay, you look fairly young, because then you're going to be super speed and fast. So, take Birch Jr., just to, like, keep an eye on him. Because, yeah, he's not going to do much when he's here anyway, so... Yeah! Do that. What's this song? This song was meant to be called Billabong. I thought this was going to be happy. What's this? This isn't a depression session. Get off! Go away! How do I get how do I get a new one? Can I just do this or let's try this one? Put this one on. Yeah. This is a bit different. Oh! This is groovy! What's this? I I I'm I'm bopping away to it and I don't even know what it is. <laughs> A suspicious individual, a waitress named Milla, reports that she just served a chicken Eddie and Diet Coke to a dangerous criminal who she'd seen on the television this morning. Coachman is sitting at the window eating a burger. That does not sound very nice. Off you go, boys. Okay, what does this vandalism thing say? Uh, uh, come 
guys, come on! I should do something. I can't complain. This music's too good. It's groovy. Do 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 do. Oh, there's lyrics! Woo! Wait. Oh, what's this? This is the green one. Right, off you go. Um, right. Sorry, I, I'm. I should be reading this. Mr. Brown, Mr. Boyd, my bouncer, stuffs himself with Mexican food again. Now he can't get any time. Um, meantime, I, I, I can't fucking read. Uh, just, but uh, Roy, off you go. I can't be asked to read. Um, right. Do 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 do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a good song. I'm probably ruining for everyone. So. I, I just said lol, I am a disgrace for my family. Um, right, okay, um, what's this one? Drug sales. An anonymous call just came in. A clown carrying balloons at skating rink is selling drugs to teenagers. That's not very good, Birch. Birch Jr., I, uh, I don't know if I should send him. You're just too useless. Um, ah, what the hell, go along, I know. Sam Sorkin. Sorry, Chief, but I quit. Well, you were fired anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, in one night, I pulled in more cash than I earned in a month working at this dump. Mr. Sorkin said he wouldn't mind taking me on. I guess I just wasn't cut out to be a cop. Yeah, you're useless anyway. You, I, I was going to fire you anyway, so yeah, screw you. Screw you, Roy. Whoa! I got money! Whoa, that's nice. Uh, what's this? Oh, oh, that's not nice. Um... A naked man carrying a canister of gasoline has threatened to set himself on fire unless his favourite chewing gum becomes popular again. What? What's that supposed to... Um... Right, off, off you go. Try and do something there. <laughs> I love that you can get, like, the groovy music and it might be, like, over, like, a cop dying or something like that. <laughs> uh, wait, it's... The song's gone away. I can't put on another song. Is that... Oh! I haven't seen making balloon animals with kids. Cover up a raincoat and print to be an illicit customer. Take down the clown and take the clown onto the ice and run up any witnesses. Uh, carefully watch the clown from the stands. Uh, raincoat, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, you did it! Bert, you're not useless! Uh, right, that's good. Uh, what's this one? Oh, he, he got caught. That's good, I guess. He, nobody's been deaded. Right, end of the day. Okay then. Uh, Roy, you're gone, thank god. He was useless anyway. Uh, Moser, Beasley, I haven't seen you at all. What What do you do? Are you, like, detectives or fancy people or what do you do? Either way, uh, I've been recording for 40 minutes now, so yeah, that's gonna be episode one. And um, if you want to see more, just say so in the commenters section down below. My brother apparently said to me this is a really good game and I need to, need to play it. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I might as well just record it for YouTube, I suppose, because he really wants me to play it. So, yeah. If you want to see more, like the video and do many subscriptions. That would be nice. And, yeah. Um, I, I don't really know how to do an outro. So, yeah. Bye!